for the introduction. I really like it. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings, everyone. So I want to start with a poem that I please don't tell me I lost it. No, no, no. That I read with my good friend Ronnie in my kitchen. <laughs> And we talked about it a long time afterwards. So, this is the poem in filigree by Christina Fontes. How to wrap a liputa when making love to a married man. <laughs> Mothers and aunties would rarely admit, but making love to a married man is an art we excel in. <laughs> On the night, where the red and gold one, with the euro and dollar print. Red for seduction. Gold so that we remembers that he remembers your school fees. Ensure mm. that it hangs loose. And that he is well hung. Do not expose all of you. Breasts, yes. Legs, yes. Cover up. Birthmarks, tattoos, scars, physical and non-physical. If not, when he is angered by things that have nothing to do with you, he will use these marks to shame you. Hold him to the point of suffocation. Leave no room for breath or guilt. When your limbs become exhausted, Use the selvage to dab beads of sweat off his chest. When, at 2 a.m., you awake, eyes searching for his laced westerns behind the door, you will inhale him, the balm for your wounds. You will find a roll on the bedside table, dollar bills carelessly tossed between the Gideon Bible and the late night service menu. <laughs> so I want to, let me just change this stuff here now. This poem is dedicated to Lema Mbowe and to all Liberian women. My big sister. My sister is a big woman, carries a heavy load. One hand grips hearts, the other a shovel, digging deeper than ever to harvest. My sister grows bigger every day. Her cosmic hips balance justice, and forgiveness on spring-coiled legs that just keep on crossing borders. My sister even grows new body parts, eyes along her back, a second soul to pluck. Many fists sprout from her sides. Do you see them? Take! Now, right, right. Now, left, left. Now. My sister, a light into darkness. She griot calls her sisters to prayer. Wearing veils, bearing crosses. Kipen, Mende, Basa, crew, and thousands, they come. My sister, multiplied, gathered by the fish market. They chant up a, a net, clap and circle, pull ever tighter, catch. Pray the devil back to hell to jail himself. Witness them. You're no day. Free and fearless. Okay, this poem now 
is actually part of an exhibition I'm part of, including Maria Amidu, called Constructive Geographies. And that is a kind of development of me experimenting with text in different artistic genres. And that is now printing poetry on clothes, as was mentioned. And this is particular around the stories that are not very often told. Uh, I don't know if you ever heard of inverted comma barrel children. These are stories of where parents set up from the Caribbean, Africa, Asia, into the West, Canada, the States, England, Europe, and left their children behind and basically created the household here. And then the children followed after. And there's a lot to be said what happens in between and underneath and between those lines. So this is one poem from the perspective of a child left behind. The weight in between. Between bouts of longing and numbness, she is gripped by an urge so strong that she physically changes shape. White mouth, bottom out and empty, waiting to be filled with butter biscuits, layers of surprise and round brown hugs. Like the barrel, her mummy ships across the ocean every six months. This poem, before I go to the filigree ones, is dedicated to, yeah, to a deity. And that's the title, A Moral Deity. Mother told me to drink, drink. I see double and illusions are revealed. Mother urged me to smoke, smoke. I cough up and catch hot mouth's truth. Mother encouraged me, lay, lay down with lovers. It's not the body that's holy. She even taught me to steal and lie, get caught without shame, shame. Judgment turns on them. My love is a three-dog bark. I dance the dirty diamond, sing my lullaby behind bars. For days I sit, smile and smoke, hold my fire close, close. Loving all who want me. Does it matter who I am? This body is only a cell. No need to blame, blame. I am truth, divine in wine, where I reside to stay, stay. <coughs> Love uncovers no shame. Okay, this poem is, I'm just so chuffed to be in filigree. I have to say this. This is a jewel. I think all of you need to walk out with a copy because otherwise you're missing out. And this is not plugging. This is, you need to. I feel very, very honored to be in there. I feel it's kind of sense of arrival, really, for me. The givers. My mother's east and I stand out. In mine clothes, they observe the unseen. My father's southern lips drawn in unspoken, longing translated in my first tongue-tied kiss. My mother's mother's Nordic hands have me till grown, then her ashes migrate under sea, extending in orange soil. My father's mother's lends me her stretched thighs, rebirthing east, south, north, and the rest. My hands 
open my eyes, stroke my lips and lift my thighs. They love each other well, even if the givers don't. read the same poem twice and you'll understand why. Alzheimer's. <laughs> Memories hang like bird nests, exposed and visible on naked branches in winter air. Old construction of dried up twigs, feathers and broken shells cling to cracked cradles of emptiness.